Hello and welcome to another episode of Real Talk with Terry. My name is Terry Cato and I am your host today. And I would like to first of all thank the ladies of Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated Zeta Psi Chapter here at San Jose State University in San Jose, California for inviting me out today. I have all of the lovely co-eds out here in the audience and I have a beautiful panel. So I'm so excited to talk with you guys this evening. We're just going to talk about healthy relationships on campus and I kind of I'm calling this session um, relationships 101 because we're on college you know I know you guys are you know in relationships you're mixing and you're mingling and you're having fun and I remember being where you are being a college student and out there dating and having fun so we're just going to talk about healthy relationships on campus and we're going to um, I'm going to throw questions out there or throw um, some scenarios or whatever out to you all right now this one is kind of interesting um, I got this question or this scenario. Um, do you guys date someone who has children? And if you do, I hear a lot of moms say. And if you do, is this like problematic? And if so, like how? So, panel, we'll start with the panel and then we'll get your question. So, personally, I would just because of the fact that I'm kind of a child. Okay. So I don't need to be trying to take on the needs of someone else's child mm -hmm. when I can't barely take care of myself. Right. So, so, so you're saying you, you don't date someone, you wouldn't date a guy that has a child? Not at this point. Not at this life. point in your but life. But maybe if I was like 27. But because then I would have more responsibility, I hope I'd be having a career. Right. And I could probably help and be a good role model, but right now I could be a role model for it. Um, I feel like I would date someone that has a child just because um, we're just dating, we're just talking, we're just hanging out, doing our thing. Until it becomes a relationship, marriage, then I would reconsider their child, but by that point I would already have had a relationship with their child mm -hmm. and I would just, it would just be a part of our relationship as well. Right. Yeah. So that's I would personally. So you would. Okay. Yeah. Got it. I mean, um, it depends, like, what they're expecting of you. If they're expecting you to, like, immediately become a father figure, I mean, that, I'd be kind of apprehensive, you know. I don't know the history of the child, you know. I don't know what exactly I'm undertaking. And if she expects me, you know, like, the expectation, like, oh, I want you to be a father, like, you need to be there, you need to pick him up, you know. It's like, I mean, I wasn't trying to sign up for a child. I was trying to sign up with you. <laughs> it's like, all, all, basically what I'm trying to say is like, if, they're, if they don't expect you, you know, I mean, you could be a good influence, but they don't expect you to like financially provide for them. I mean, right. there isn't like really an issue. I mean, you're just interested in, you're just trying to talk to get to know someone. Right. But the expectation is like, oh, you need to take care of the change of debris, et cetera, you know. Right. I'm not sure. Right. Um, right now, at this point, no. I'm really 21. That'd be kind of weird. But like, if I got older, like, you know, some guys they might be kind of too prideful. Like, that's not my kid. I don't want to be around them. But also, you have to realize if you're gonna date a woman who has a child, you're signing up for both the woman and the child. Yeah, that's absolutely. part of them. They gave birth to them. Like, that's their child. So you better be ready to take on both of them. You don't have to be their father, but at least like spend time with the kid, you know, kick it with the kid, because <laughs> like, it's going to be awkward to be like, hey, yo, and like take his mom away. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, like, you know, maybe like later in my life, I'd be down for that. Okay. Maybe. Right? That's a great point. That's a great point that he made. When you date somebody with a child, like he said, you're taking on the person and the child, so that's just something to be mindful of. And do either one of you guys want to comment on that? Yes, I want to comment. Um, <laughs> of course. <laughs> I'm not ideally, I wouldn't date with uh, someone with a child, only because, like uh, Victor said, I signed up to date you, not the child. And that's bringing in a third party with the child and a third party with that child's father. Exactly. So that's something that I would rather not be involved with. I don't want my family to be my family, my kids to be with my wife, and I wouldn't want it to be with the third party. But if, like Tara was saying, if it's just dating and we're just enjoying each other's company, yeah, that's cool. Um, yeah, we can go out to dinner, we can have a pro movie or whatever, but long term, I would 
when to be involved with someone with a child already. Got it, got it. That's a good one. That's valid. And did anybody else, any comments? Maybe you have a comment. <laughs> Don't be shy. Speak up. Because this is a this is a great topic, especially for you guys in college. And, you know, and you might, I'm sure you have already, but I'm sure you'll run into people that have children already that are in college. I mean, I have my own little experience with that. But I want to hear what you got to say. Um, good evening, everyone. Yeah, oh, your name and major. Jade, political science major. Hi. Um, Personally, I wouldn't date someone with a child, not in this like time right now, because I have too much going on, and I feel like if I'm dating someone, I need to dedicate my time to that person, and also I would like them to dedicate their time to me. So it's not an equal thing. Like I understand you would have to take care of your child, and so like I don't want to come between that. So personally, I wouldn't. Maybe some years down, when we're both grown and we're like stable, but as of now, no. <laughs> I agree. That's a great point. We have another comment. It's acceptable if she's a sugar mama. Oh my goodness! <laughs> 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 trying to help them out and then it's just detrimental to yourself right. then you, you start saying like well you know what's more important like do I eat right now or do I like help her buy diapers like or mm -hmm. do I pay my tuition or do you right. know, take that pick up that child for school you know so. that's a good point that's that's very mature of you but kind of as a mom and as a you know I would say you know that's not your responsibility you're your responsibility at this point, you know, in time. And so that's just, um, I'm putting on my mother hat right now to all of you guys because I actually have a daughter that's a freshman in college. And this is the exact same thing, you know, that I would tell her, which is what I'm about to tell you guys, you know, if whether or not you date somebody with a child, if, well, especially if you do, if you choose to, just remember, you know, you are your responsibility not that person's child and you know if it does get to the point like like oh my god she or he needs help buying diapers or christmas gifts or whatever that's not your responsibility because it's not your child and don't feel bad for that because you're your responsibility or if you have a child your child is your responsibility 
So this is the same thing I would tell my own daughter. You know, don't feel obligated to take care of someone else's responsibility at this point in your life because you didn't sign up for that. You signed up to come here to go to college and get a degree and whatever you're going to get your degree in and you need to eat and put gas in your car and buy clothes and shoes and makeup and whatever you guys <laughs> like to buy. So I just want to put that out there as a parent and as a mother, you know, don't ever feel obligated to take on someone else's responsibility because right now in your life, you should be your first priority. Or if you have children or a child, you and your child should be your first priority. And then on the, with the same, in the same sentence, I say, if you have a child, don't neglect your child for somebody else. So just, you know, let's keep things in perspective. And somebody had their hand up. Comment. Oh, I see, like, the count. She's like, mm-mm. She's like, but mm-hmm. <laughs> um, no comments? I want to comment. Okay. Um, kind of off what Victor was saying with the financial need mm -hmm. and mentally readiness. I think that ties in with what my brother was saying about the um, sugar mama statement. <laughs> um, I think if you don't work further and elaborate it, I think what he was saying is like basically when you're committed to someone with the child, you're kind of going to feel obligated to kind of have to take care of that child as well too. And that's, that's, that's not cheap. Right. So, I think he was saying that that person that he's dating is a sugar mama or she is, has money is taking care of her child and herself, then he'll be open for it because it's clear that she's not looking to find someone to take care of her kid. Right. It's more so she just wants somebody that she can be herself with. Right. So if she has all that stable, then yeah, I'll be able to do it. Okay. That's well said, brother. <laughs> what you say? That's it. Okay, so that's what you meant by that sugar mom statement. Okay. Yeah, sure. yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for cleaning that up. <laughs> okay. Did you? Did anybody else have any comments on that? Um, can I just say that I feel like I feel like everybody deserves a chance. So doesn't matter if like. You know, he has a kid or not, but um, he could be a great guy, but you'll never know just because he has that one thing that's like kind of stopping him. But I feel like in the end, everybody should just get that chance. That's a great point. Thank you. Okay. Can I just one more thing? Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. What she said it made sense because we got a woman's perspective, and she said if he has a kid. I also think it's like a big difference if it's a man that has a child and has a child in their life, and they're taking care of their kid, and they're all with their kid. I think that looks better. I don't know why, but I think that's kind of more attractive to women when they see that they're taking care of their kid and they're always in their kid's life in comparison to a woman having a kid and the father's not in their life right. and they're open to date. Right. I just thought that was kind of cool. Right. No, that's a, no, that's a good point. And um, I think, you know, you brought up a good point, but I think some women do, um, some women do find that attractive in a man when they're actually stepping up to the plate and they're taking care of their child or children. Um, it should be like that anyway. I don't know why that's so admirable, because as a man, when you have children, that's just what you should do. But it is, but you're right, it is. It, you know, it's just something, maybe because, um, you know, in some situations we don't always see it, perhaps. So maybe that's why it's like, wow, you know, that's cool. You know, this is a guy, he has a baby, and although him and the mom aren't together, but he's still, you know, taking care of his child. But, um, so that is a good point. So, um, did anybody else have comments? No more comments? A question? Okay. Question? Okay. Well, um, if there are no more comments or in the, no more questions, um, I'm going to just wrap up. Um, in closing, is there anything else that you guys want me to address? Because I know we're like, you know, we only have the room for a certain amount of time. We can get it all that. It's out. Um, <laughs> that's the beauty of taping. You can get it stuff out. How are you doing, everybody? My Hi, name is, name is Major. Hi, uh, yeah. My name is Elijah Caldwell. I represent Omega Sci Fi. Awesome. I'm a global studies major here at Mary Scholarship at San Jose State. Uh, I just wanted to say my own piece on the relationship part because I uh, have done it successfully in STEM. Um, the basic standard between any woman who I'm identifying with, whether it's conversation or not, is that they be a woman of God because that's All how right. I am. And at that point, any differences or similarities are met in that perfect match from a hand that was drawn the picture that we don't have any power over, right? Mm -hmm. So to be opening yourself to be susceptible to fall in love bigger than you thought possible. 
is where the real dream comes alive. And that's how I've done it. And uh, it's been my work. Thank you for that comment. Oh, we did. 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 So, um, so that being said, um, you know, I just want to, you know, as a mom, you know, for me, this is bigger than just, you know, talking about relationships, but, you know, I actually have a heart for you guys because I have a daughter, you know, that's in the same life phase as you. So, like I said, anything that I've said this evening, you know, it's the same kind of advice or it's the same thing that I would tell one of my own children. So, first and foremost, you know, you guys are in a, a wonderful phase of life and I just want to, you know, encourage you guys to make the most of it, to have fun, to date, do whatever you're going to do. But whatever you do, just always protect yourself, you know, protect yourself, you know. <laughs> Please. So I cannot say that enough as a mom. Um, if I had to give you advice, I would say have fun, date, but don't have sex. But I mean, I can't really tell you guys that. But as a mom, I'll still tell you guys that. You know, like have fun, you know, meet people, but you know, just kind of save it. You know, just save it if you can. <laughs> Please. But anyway, and I'll just leave it there. So I just want to thank you guys once again for coming out and being a part of the show. And once again, I would just like to thank the ladies of Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated, Zeta Psi at, the, at San Jose State University in San Jose, California. Go Spartans! Yay! <laughs> And there were some questions for all. Feel free to partake. And um, good night. Thank you. Over, 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 over everything.